This is going to be a uh, GIMP tutorial that will generate some HTML code for you for your website, making things a little bit simpler when it comes to mapping images. Uh, basically, mapping images is if you have one image that you want to use to have uh, different sections of it that you click on do different things, this is what we're going to do today. So I'm going to create a new image. I'll just make it at 800 by 800. Okay, white like that. And I'm just going to make something real ugly here. I'll just put some text. I'll call it my site. Back that down a little bit. Close and then I'll put another text over here and I'll go enter. I'll close that and then uh, just for fun we'll put a little uh, design over here or something like this. Just pretend this is a picture of something like that. I know, it's ugly. You can have more fun designing your site later on. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this is like going to be like the entrance page for our website. We'll say file, save as, and I'm just going to save it as uh, site.png or JPEG, whatever you want to call it. Save, export, save. Now, we got to turn all three of these items into buttons, basically. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to filters, I'm going to go down to web, and I'm going to go to image map. It opens up this little GIMP window here. Uh, oh, I forgot to do something. Let's flatten this image first. There we go. So it's all on one layer. Now we'll go to filters, web, image map. And there we go. We have the image in our Im image mapping uh, window. And right here I can click either a box, circle, or a polygon tool. I'm just going to choose a box. I'm going to draw a box around my site and then I'm going to type in the URL for a link. Uh, so in this case I'll just put http dot forward slash or dot colon forward slash forward slash films by Chris dot com. Now I have to put the HTTP because I want to know that it's going to a website other than a subdirectory here which is basically this relative link which I'll unclick there. And you can put some alternate text too. I'll just go films by Chris. And I'll apply that and it adds it to the list over here. I'll click OK to close that. I'll draw a square around this one, do the same thing. I'll make this one a relative link and I'll just put uh, home.html. And that's what you would put if you're going to a link within your website and you're not going to a remote website. You just need to put the the name of the file that you're linking to. Uh, I'm going to choose website here. Oh, see website adds the HTTP, which is not what we want. Let's change that back to other. Okay, alternate text and I'll just put home page, apply, okay. Now we got this funky shape tool, our little design here. Let's pretend that's a image of some sort. We can use the polygon tool and we can make a button that's shaped oddly like so and you just double click in the last spot to let it know that you're done with that tool and I will call this one I'll just put this google.com once again I'll make it a website that puts the HTTP there for me and I'm gonna put Google as the alternate text you don't have to put anything there but you can I'll click apply OK and then I'll save this and it will save it uh, as by default it wants to name it the same as your image file dot map uh, which we'll do I'll just take out this PNG part though so we'll just say site dot map okay now I'll go to where I save that which is my home directory and uh, you can see the site file there and then you can see the map file here the site image file the PNG the map here I'm going to double click that to open up my text editor and you can see that it has some HTML code in here and it's got the name of our PNG file the size of it and then it's got the coordinates for the uh, the buttons that we made the, the maps that we put in the image now normally you can copy and paste this into your HTML code I am just going to resave it as site.html and I will close that and I will double click on site HTML that we just created it should open up in my web browser once my web browser opens, there we go. 
So you can see our image inside the web browser here, and you can see uh, that the, the cursor changes from an arrow to a hand when I hover over the buttons. And if I click my site, it should bring me to filmsbychris.com. If I go back to it, I can click on the shape here, and it'll bring me to google.com. And this one will try to bring me to a home HTML that doesn't exist, so I'll get an error. But that is how you can map images for websites and generate HTML code using GIMP. Hope you found this useful. Hope you enjoy using open source tools. And I hope you visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.